In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing or an enveloping of an LG external super multi DVD RW light scribe drive. So let's get to it. Now, I got this drive on eBay for $20.58 shipped. So that's a pretty good deal. And for those of you who care, the model number on this is GP08LU11. Now, as time goes on, I use my DVD drive less and less, but it is nice to have. It's also a piece of technology that seems to break on me more than any other piece of tech I've ever owned. Probably in the past five years, I've replaced a CD drive on my desktop computer, or DVD drive in this case, twice. Most recently in my PC build, I had a LightScribe drive in there, and I actually did a full review and full unboxing and installation and demonstration on LightScribe, and you can check that out on my channel. Unfortunately, that drive doesn't work anymore. So I thought, well, I'd like to get another LightScribe drive and put it in my PC build. As it turns out, LightScribe drives aren't as prevalent as they used to be. And some of the lesser expensive ones were around $40, $50, and I really didn't want to spend that kind of money on a drive. So I just put a regular DVD drive in my PC build. But now I'm without a LightScribe drive, so I looked on eBay and I found this one. And I'll probably just break it out when I want to do a LightScribe label. Other than that, I don't really need it. Now, hopefully, being that this is in an envelope, Hopefully it's packaged well enough. The previous owner said that it was in like new condition. I hope it's still in like new condition after being sent like this. So without any further ado, let's get this thing open here. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay. Looks like a USB cord there, and then the drive itself here. So let's open this up. It looks well packed, even though it wasn't in a box. It looks like it was packed well, that is. And my cats are playing. It sounds a lot more violent than it is. The female cat that I got is very vocal, so she's actually egging my other cat on. So anyway, here we go. Um, here is the USB cord. <laughs> and uh, let's see, we've got a USB cord and it looks like a power cord too, here too as well. So one end has a power plug on it and a USB port on the other end. Then the other one is a regular USB to micro USB. And here is the drive. See if we can slide it out here. It's very slim here. On the front you have your eject button and then you have a couple of LEDs, actually one LED here. And then this is an eject hole there. So if you have any problems with this, you just stick a pin in there and it'll pop it open. On the front here, it's very, or on the top actually, it's very glossy. It says slim here. External Super Multi DVD Rewriter. You've got some badges down here. It says Super Multi, Compact Disc Rewritable, DVD Multi Recorder, DVD RW. RW has LightScribe, and then it says Secure Disc as well. And of course, it's made by LG here. It's a high gloss black finish here. And uh, I don't know if some of this is going to come out or if it's actually uh, little scratches on there. I really don't care too much, but I will clean it up. You have this white band all the way around here. This is the right side. There's nothing there. On the rear, you have your ports here, your power port, and then your USB port back here. And keeps going around here. Nothing on the left side either. On the bottom, it's pretty plain other than the label, and I never really show the label, so that's why I have it covered up. You do have those four little rubberized feet, though. And the bottom is a matte black plastic. Everything else is pretty much a glossy plastic. Now this is a USB 2.0 drive, and that should be sufficient for my needs. So let me just plug it into my laptop, make sure that it works, and see how this uh, cord situation works as well. 
Okay, so I have my Dell E5430 here, and this computer actually doesn't have a, an optical drive in it, even though it has space for it. And to be honest, I haven't missed it, but again, the reason I bought this drive is because of the light scribe. So let's put it over here. Now, I want to see if I have to use both of these cords, if I can just use one of them. I'm assuming I'm going to have to use both, but let's just start with the regular USB to micro USB. and see if the computer recognizes anything here. Alright, it says installing device driver, so the drive is supposedly ready to use, according to the message down here. So let's open it up here. So far so good. So I grabbed the nearest DVD, and this is actually an interesting side story here. This DVD not a fan of this movie, it's uh, Hocus Pocus, but this was actually inside of my Xbox 360 when I bought it. Strangely enough, when I bought a used Wii years ago, it came with Transformers in it. So apparently people leave their DVDs, their movie DVDs, in the game consoles that I buy secondhand on eBay. So let me just put this in here and see what happens. And if the movie actually starts running, I'm going to have to uh, edit that out. But it seems like everything's running. It's spinning, it's working, and I don't have the power cord plugged into it. So apparently it's drawing enough power off of just the uh, USB port here on the computer. So that's good. I assume that the other cord, the power cord portion, is only necessary if you're plugging it into a underpowered or low-powered USB port. But that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.